Picking all for the most part, nothing indifferent. Sometimes be stuck in my ways, we can't fit up in somebody's kitchen. Stacking my hand down, chilling with the troops in my few cans, doing so I walk like Winston. Trust me, I wake up hanging, you hang down, leaving this bed, you're kidding. I'm sitting on back in the pad, get deep fried, and I smoke some packs of the grass. Put my feet up, kick back, and relaxing your best. No, I'm sticking on Riley's gown. Every fucking time. hell, mate. Mate, I every do that time. every mate, time. You're mate. a disaster. I about that, I know, man. I, but I'm fucking spilling? Always, aye, mate, I'm always <laughs> shriveling, mate. We've no water right here. He's been spilling that all day. That fat oh, thing, bro. Fucking drench me in this, mate. <laughs> fucking pull us away. Mate, it's a danger zone when mate, I'm we're, aye, aye, mate, something. You isn't wearing pale t-shirts when you're just so... That's why I've got bottles, mate. I've come prepared with bottles because they cans. Oh, mate, they're dangerous. They every can, every can I open, I just think... I think hi, I've got plenty of room, and then it all spills in me. There was a famous, you know, with Donicky, there was a famous thing about the meatball marinara. Mate, there'll be mayo sauce, there'll be mayo sauce in Donicky's school shirt, and there would have been on the sandwich <laughs> in the first place, mate. We used to like all getting up to Canby Main Street in the subway like every day, man. It was my thing was like meatball marinara, oh, yes. bacon, chili oh. sauce, and all that. Stuff, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and this would actually end up everywhere, man. Fucking, it's like a danger zone, man. It's never mind. That's ever the done. best thing ever. See, going with your troops, going up to. A subway during school oh, hours uh, and bashing a meatball na- marinara. Yeah, life Sub- doesn't get life just goes down for there. Subway it? can be reminds me of a dog in school. Aye, mate, that's all. That, that was mate, like a was safe like, zone. The guys were all pure brand new and all. Like we would, like you would have three periods in the morning, and then you'd be lucky if you would do them, and then you pretty much fuck off up to Aye. up to the subway, and you just sit there the rest of the day <laughs> pure fucking about, or you would go to the Glen and play football and all that. Aye, just it's a pure a turn down, it's your habit, dog, dog in school, isn't it? Because it's like when you're in school for a full day after doing it like twice, you're like, what the fuck? this is ages, man. <laughs> this just won't stop. <laughs> It's far day, too long. Mate, I need to be out of here. Mate, see, <laughs> see, when I was in, so see when I, see when I started in uh, with Kafka, right? There was like an old school. So I was in for first year. I was in a, a school that was getting like demolished uh, or something for hussies like the next year. So I was a year in that school, and then I was down to like the new school they built. And was it mixed with an art school or that? No, no, it was just it was just like. Casket, and, and then after a year, like we were moving to a new school just down the hill, and uh, then that was getting demolished, and houses were getting built uh, there and shit. Right. But mate, see, like when I was in first year, see, there would be a, mo- there'd be like, I don't know what, what this was. There was like a, a silver Fiesta that used to drive about me, and it was like to catch cunts dogging, and like they'd have like a, a high vis in that on pure doggers, Oof. doggers fucking alliance or something Oof. in the back. And mate, like, could they would drive about and you'd be like, oh no, like it was like the police or something. Mate, do you know what that's just reminded me of? Do you know how you get them at jobs that's like pure, no a real job and it's like a mad wild name? Mm-hmm. See, when I was doing Kaleo, it's finally gone, mate. I don't need to go back down there again. I've been pure, I've been working down in Kaleo and it's been running, hang on this. I just hate it. Like, <laughs> turn the place to glass, mate. <laughs> but, um, I, you see when I was in there I was driving on the motorway and see instead of police they've got mad vans that say Cumbria Crime Team and it's got <laughs> ha- hashtag CCT you know what on it hashtags like, aye hashtags that way and it's just like a mad fat woman in the motor but vigilantes aye mate that's it that's what they've got the Cumbrian Crime Team I thought, so that's what you had, mate. Detail. You had the fucking Kafkin crime team. I mate, the Kafkin Tra- Doggers Alliance, mate, <laughs> chasing after me. We had the same thing with Trinity and all. Like, our school <clears throat> was getting knocked down in the same shit, but we went up to Holy Cross in Hamilton for two years, mate, and it was just two years of fucking madness. Mate, the stories you mate, would tell me, because now mate, when you're a wee guy... I'll tell you a funny I story. Tell- so we used to get the bus up, right? So we would all get the bus up, and uh, so I was in first year, my brother was in sixth year, and the buses back then were mental, mate. Can't we be, like, setting a firebox of full <laughs> shebang? But you would go through, like, Blanta, and then the way through Blanta, it'd be, like, John Ogilvy and all these different schools. So <laughs> every day, without fail, you'd be going through, like, Blanta. Your bus is getting pure skilled and all that. Shit. <laughs> so just go on it. I had, mate, mate, exactly. But there was one day when... Uh, we were coming back and like I was in first year and the I was near the back of the bus and my brother was at Mooney, the motor behind us, right? So it's just <laughs> it's just a mad random car, right? So I'm at right, so my brother's called me and eight dates, so I'm like I'm buckling my belt, scans down, man, arse right against the window. Nah, mate, even worse, next thing you know, we look at the motor. 
motor CID undercover. <gasps> mate, oh, I, no mate, I remember like trying to get my scissors and I was like, oh no. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> what is the what is the crime of that one? Uh, I think it's the exposure. I remember I remember like the arse pure, flashing. It was like that genuine shot where like my face went pure oh, white. Bro, and I was like, no, and they like they like Flash the bus to like pull in, and like it was like the wee woman at the front, Leslie, and then like the bus driver, they're like, Who the fuck's done this? and all this. Oof, mate. And I'm sitting there, like, Oh no, and the police come in the bus and all that, and then they're like, They, they <laughs> just the knew, <laughs> aye. And like, my, my brothers ended up taking the dairy for it, and he was like, No, it was me, and they like, They knew 100%, and they're like, We're gonna put in a report to the school and all that stuff, but thankfully, nothing really. I think they kind of just seen that I'd obviously been put up to it, man, but I remember like the, that night, I was just like, Oh, dad, tell my mom and dad, like, I'm gonna. <laughs> Still, like the next imagine day, you like, the sales. Imagine you, oh, mate, imagine it was only you my like, third week in high school and all, man. So, mate, couldn't they let my brother? I was, I, mean? the I was the type I couldn't see when shit like that happened to me. Like, I'd be like, I'll need to just like fucking, I'll need to just get a bag packed and just get a bus somewhere. Uh, know what I mean, just go to another city. I went but just start to do like this town. Mate, I'm getting too big for this town. Money and CIDs. Mate, <laughs> mate that's the worst like motor. To, uh, I was thinking oh, the worst would be a family. Just, just be a like, silver course on me. I'll never forget. It was just a random, and it was a guy and a woman and all. So I'm pure not even hiking. I'm like, there you go. <laughs> mate, I actually remember like pure like getting a wee dancing and all that, and then I just, <laughs> I just remember turning. <laughs> Like that, and like I just I didn't I just knew it was a badge and I was like why would they be holding a badge on there? <laughs> Everybody's went for like howling or he'd have to like completely silence when the police are on him. Like, what if yeah, I can't believe just the done pure that? Pure rush hour, the bus man. The school, oh, mate, school buses yeah. were insane. Brilliant, I remember, mate. mate once there was, um, what do I call him? Ginger, ginger something, remember him from back in the day? Uh, right, okay. right, you know what I'm talking about? Uh -huh. London Drummy? Right, so, uh -huh. we, we, our school bus used to go by him. No, mate, do you know what? It, it wasn't right. even him, I remember. Uh -huh. mate, wasn't he, do I still go him on Facebook? He mate. tries to punt pure diggers and all that. I'm like, uh, how do you mate. even have a digger to punt? But anyway, um, there was this boy that went, his stone law that would always like gears it tight like see when on the bus he would like stone his set like there was 80 us <laughs> 80 us against the wind they like because the bus would sort of stop because of the traffic because you're getting near the school but stone law had to walk by our buses to go down the hill to their school ah, yeah, so like yeah. they would walk by and it was just this wee ginger guy from Whitlaburn who used to just stone like that Oh, yeah. <laughs> it would be like eight or nine years old. Oh, uh, uh, he's on the window. Uh, <laughs> yes. I just thought they'd not. You're like, ah. but mate, see, one day, we like, things just got ramped up, bro. This weekend was just fucking you know, guy. Yeah, like, and uh, we, but like, somebody burst out the fire exit at the back, mate, and like, cunts got out and actually just tasted them, mate. <laughs> and it was pure <laughs> escalated, didn't it? And how that, many, how many. Are they we oh, get me? Yeah, this is a month's worth of things. So, so you're easy, boy, man, like he, he was taking a few pacings after a few months. She would hear oh, about somebody fighting with him and all. Just, mate, just one of the guys. He was right up for it, not me. Uh, right back out there, eight guys in a bus, mate. Fucking get right up. Oh, mate, 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 he thought he was invincible. Mate, 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 I bet. I bet he felt the exact same way you felt when you realised it was the CIDC when that fire exit opened. Uh, it was like, you don't actually get it after fighting me. I hate that shit, mate. I remember like when you're faced with the mad reality. Like, oh, no. Mate, I think like, there was eight cunts that jumped out and I was like the eighth guy. I was like, I, I won't Funny kill him, man. Like, I get him, I am like, <laughs> fucking dynamite. <laughs> jumped on the on the bus, shake hands with everybody. That was fucking class. See me bro. going in and kicking them there at the back there. I went in and kicked them. Ah, yeah, right go <laughs> <laughs> Mate, see, you talk about like buses when you're a wee guy. We used to get like, oh, like what I would do for like a good period of time, my social life was like getting an all day and just going on a bus run. <laughs> and it was like the, the 75 seven. that went like for Springburn to like through Poso, through like all that, right all the way to Castle Milk, mate. That's it's a, tour, it's a safari. It's a, mate, it's a fucking safari, bro, actually. But I remember one day realising me and all my pals were pure pussies because like we used to go in the bus and blast tunes and that and pure... And intimidate the, uh, the elders, uh, you know what I mean? Obviously, <laughs> as you do. But then, see you as soon as we go to like Poso and that, and you see like an all like three boys come on, and then they started blasting us, and we'd be like, <laughs> 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 Mate, you, if you get humbled when you're a wee guy, like you, you and your pals, like these are mental. You see a bunch of kids, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, right, right, we'll just chill out the back of the bus now, boys. Uh, you're just in the front. <laughs> mate, Springboard's bad because it's just between like Milton and Postal and all these mad scary places. That, mate. No, I, uh, no that, that's a bit, that's a, because I was a bad scheme hopper back in the day, bro. Uh, I used to go, I used to go for like the north to east through to south, and that. I was oh. quite bad for it. 
but I get far more. You're an explorer, bro. Jetto, mate. Jetto, yeah, that yeah. is jet. That That's for the mad uh, ice cream fans and all that. Huh? The ice cream wars, mate. Aye, the ice cream wars, mate. Do you know what the ice cream wars? Aye, mate. The ice cream wars is my like folklore. Favorite thing ever. It's horrible, but it's like at the same time, it's like just. For that to be Glasgow's like pure pinnacle <laughs> of crazy, <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? It's so niche, mate. It's so, yeah, so glad, mate. I heard she old Shelton Road had a chippy wars. I know back in the day. Mate, mate I was yeah. really surprised. Mate, there's a show. <laughs> Chico, <laughs> think of it like Chico's the man Turkish barbers. Like, I know them. Open the barber wars. Ah, uh, the barber wars. <laughs> the mar- marmorous barber wars. <laughs> <laughs> ah, mate, there's shorts go to war all the time. Mate, there's a there's a rogue shop in Canby, right? And it's um. What's it called? I'm not going to say the name because fuck that, right? Aye. But there's a roll shop in Canby. One opened up round the corner for it, like just round the corner for it. Oh. And the the woman apparently go her husband and her son to go around and smash the show up <laughs> See, as soon as it opened. Aye. Aye. Actually smash every bit of the show up. Aye. just like... I mean, that's standing on business, bro. Aye, that is standing uh-huh. on business. standing on business. Aye. <laughs> no, you're not opening a matter. Bro, do you know what's standing so on business? only I can sell rolls and bait in here, mate. There was a rumour, there was a rumour going about that, um, there was a bit of that scene on Duke Street with Black Rooster and Pepe's. Uh, See when Black Rooster just opened, Pepe's got all the windies panned. Oh, <laughs> and I'm not a conspiracy. Fe- I'm all getting dragged into conspiracy <laughs> theory nah. here, boys. But I mean, when everybody Pepe- said Black Rooster's a wee bit dodgy, man, right for the yeah, off. I mean, they had cash machines in them. They didn't have cash they, machines, bro. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> didn't they take card into a few wa- week ago? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to speak on this because I want a fucking. I want us to get. You try to get the black card. We were on a pot. We were on. We were on the Dawn Diaries, mate. Aye, so yeah, when yeah, I, I don't like him getting top cold at, bro, because that's you. Uh, uh, mate, when yeah, I told that's... him about that, he was like, mate, don't go on that. <laughs> the Dawn, <don't>, bro. The <laughs> Dawn. <don't. laughs> it's only it's one, only one mate, mate. That's only what I was thinking about, because I was like, I was just coming and I was like, ah, we'll just write like the Dawn and the gaff or something. I was like, imagine we'd just done this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you got like your fat on him all like, ah, this is the Dawn, the real Dawn and the gaff. But that, that boy, he's got a, he's sponsored by Black Rooster, so he's got a Black Rooster black card, so he can go on any of them, just get any ones. Mate, that's what I need, man. I am. You're I'm cleaning basement. <laughs> 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 <Okay, laughs> <you're dodgy laughs> <laughs> I was saying to him, I was like, oh, did you put a good word in my mic? Nah, on the podcast, I'm like, Blatter's still fucking brilliant. And I'm eating mad spicy I mean, wings. They were good wings. They were dynamite, mate. I went the next day and went and go and asked for the extra hot ones and that oh, again. Oh, they were mate, still I was really good. Nah, the hot lemon and herb ones, nice. They just brought a new one out, mate. It's, I like my spice and all, so it's a good wee balance when you're right, a bit of lemon, mate. I don't mind that because I do usually like a bit of lime. See you in like Mexican and that. I want to and oh, the wee bit of lime over the me, top. Mate, I'm going for taco Tuesdays and more at the local Oh, you're a bastard, mate. You're getting the fish tacos? Oh, you know I'm oh, going to get the fish tacos. by the way? You, I've no the the one at, where's the one in the... Uh, is it? Oh, it's near Queen's Park. I think that sacred tum or something. Uh, it's like it, it's an orange. Uh, I think, it's, I think. Mate, but the only you, you you can only go to the front window and pretty much they sell until they're sold out. And like, so you just uh, uh, like, shit, uh, mate, uh, that's how like I off the land. Mate, 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 like, but they're all good, mate. They're I, fucking I've never they're been there. I, I went to. I got some for that Rafa's. You know that one. Uh, that one's sick, bro. That's like the wee guys, like a wee fucking like. LA suffer cunt and he's old up mate can I be an LA suffer selling tacos mate Maybe a shack and finish such a good gig but to have in it like oh, we taco just open it, open it four o'clock no, uh, I just shut it six or uh, like uh, uh, well, well fuck all well, well, I'm a bit of a road cash yeah there's queues and all that see every time I've went up there's pure because you only sell it the window and all the queues are like all the way down the street that's like mad Ben's fucking thing about is it Errol's hot pizza or something or aye they open for like two hours a day and they're like we've no fucking tomatoes today <laughs> it's just exclusivity in it that's uh, what it's all about mate it is but um, mate we should probably address how I know uh, Donicky to be honest that, so Donicky is probably my oldest dearest friend in the world we've, mm. we've spoke about him at length on here mate <laughs> to, <laughs> the point, times, to the point that people were mailing me like you need to get Donicky on mate I, I felt <laughs> like yeah, mate, yeah. Yeah. This, is, this has been needed for ages mate because that's what I had because I don't know Donicky uh-huh. before now but because how much you talk about him and all these mad stories for back in the day, I'd feel like I do know you know, uh-huh, mate. You so know, this is yeah. a, this is introduction a for the truth. It's weird, but because we've always known each all, other, all each other. It was like uh, for years ago, mate. mate some just... fucking uh, some wall that goes back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's old tales, <laughs> and all, old walls, uh, and that, mate. some stabbings <laughs> and all that. Uh, mate, <laughs> mate, it's actual too political. We can't even get uh, it on the board. Uh, there's a lot of red tape, a lot of uh, bureaucracy. Hundred percent surrounding our past. But I want to hear about you too, mate. Back in the day, I want to hear because this cunt has fucking ruined his mind with drugs and. Gambling uh, and I've tried to say I'm straight for so long, mate. Honestly, so mate. and you, mate, you're a young. You've got. Do you know? Mind. I remember the first ever time I seen Evan, 
and it was a. Uh, I was actually <laughs> looking at my my bedroom window, and I always wanted these pair of Nike materials, and it was like oh, the yes. lime green gone into the white with the white heel, right? Bro, unreal, mate. Mm. And I remember seeing this wee prick, right. <laughs> Walk in front of my house with like the full sellout kit on and then oh, the his arm gear, and I was like, we are so man and we used to have like Ulby Street and it was like me and these two other boys, Sean and Dylan, and we play against him and another boy Ryan. I used it smash him with that obviously. Like, like, Ryan like, was a fucking man down that weekend. I'm sorry if you're watching down, but to be fair, uh, man. Mate, but, call out Ryan, mate. But see, I we I always remember that story, right? But I'm gonna so can we get these boots up, mate? Because they're absolutely delightful. If you go type in Nike Mercurial Vapor, like lime green, I think. Uh, oh, mate. I used to have the ones, see the ones that were like forest green and they had like a mad bit of the laces that covered up the laces. I'm a mad plastic sheet. Aye, aye, aye. It was aye, just a white tip, bro. Nike ones, see like the F50s and oh, the F50s. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I used to put them on that. I wonder right. if I get the free kit. You need right. to be the old ones, type 2004 or something. Aye, it would be aye. like, aye, type in 2005, maybe. Because <laughs> these, are, these we, are all the gay ones. We need. Aye, it'd be like one of the, it was like. Oh, man. It was the, the one with the heel and it was like, it dots off. It what? was like, the, oh, there, there, there. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, look the price of them. Look the price of them. Mate. 395 quid. Imagine if you still had them. On, click on them, bro. Aye, them. Aye. Let's get a pair of them, man. Why you watch up in? We'll Mate, share them. 100%. Mate, they were. Oh, they were man. beautiful. I remember it was Greaves Sports and I was just showing my dad. I, was, I remember using my dad's laptop and just leaving the page open, hoping he was going to take the hand. Troops, the one for the Night Mercurial Vapors, Cactus Green. Oh. They're wanting 395 quid. I imagine that was worn by Ev Evan Rayleigh. Match worn. Uh, match, match worn, worn by Evan, mate. Street worn. Street worn. Oh, so did you have, by the way, did you used to kick a boot? Because I remember whenever I got a new pair of boots, I got a pair of mad, uh, they mad F-150s you're talking uh, about, but they were like electric blue and they had like red on them and that, but they were pure like shiny blue. I fucking loved them. And I remember like wearing them out in a boot, like just kicking a boot with my pals and mm. that, a pair of joggies and boots, like with actual <laughs> studs on them. Just ready. Them in the street, pure cloth in my boot, mate. Just ready for a game whenever. Ready. Cause Aye, that, was what, that was what was sh the cool shit back then, but like Aye. Marseille Aye. trackies and f one Mind that, it's like that I've got the, the man, there's one I've got like the Man United one with the black and the gold and then the Valencia trackie. That was like the, that was the peak. Mate, like it was a double fucking, tracking, uh, always, mate. And I remember, mate, I remember when I got them, and all. Do you know? What? I actually think my mom got them at. Uh, it was at the uh, see uh, Dino's at the charity shop in Dino's because she was pure dragging me about one day. I was like, "Fuck, see, I'm my pals are going to see in a charity shop." <laughs> and then I just clocked like these two mad Man United and Valencia trackies. I was like, eh, "What I get?" <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they match. They uh, go perfectly. Like, well, we're uh, both in the Sally Albert. Uh, we're just sitting uh, one in the changing with, room with the Barcelona, the mad blue Barcelona tap. Oh. Uh, oh. Unreal, mate. Uh -huh. me. I used to have that. Way, like, do you remember the uh -huh. man Brown and like? Lime, like orangey kind of. It was like a Barca tracky, and it was like brown joggies, mm -hmm. which was a, a mad aye. statement to make as a young man. But I done it, and then like it was a mad light orange fucking pasta. I do know what you're talking. Mate, about. that was a fucking nail. You're I thought like 2006. I, and do you know what, mate? Do you know where? 2007. I, I walked into this fucking establishment all day. It's in the Folds, the Folds Retail Park. No, the Folds Market, sorry. And it's upstairs in the Folds Market and it's a wee stall, mate. Like, the no Folds even Street. half the size of this room. And it's it's been there since I was a oh, wee boy. And it sells hundreds of football aye, kits. Aye, aye, mate, and the the How many fucking classes that, and all that, It's just like Olympiacos aye, kits and all that. I've been kitting about for so long, mate. And the Folds is like, it's like the zombie apocalypse. Aye, <laughs> the Folds is incredible, I love it, bro. mate. It's, it's got mate, character. Mate, my gran sent me a thing that was like Springburn Shopping Centre in 1981 or something. Or 1970 or something. And it was like the show pay at Springburn. I don't know if any of you have ever been in it, but it's a fucking, like, it's like that oh. times. It's mad, mad amount, mate. There's like a mad uh, casino bit in it. No casino, uh, but it's just like hunters of puggies and everything. <laughs> <like, laughs> <just a> yeah, <laughs> uh, mate, it's like that. But that fucking see back in like the 60s or something. I don't know if Jambo, I don't know if we could get footage of like a mad Glasgow shopping centre back in the day because it's mad. Every kind of walk about in suits and there's fountains. And uh, that. They used oh. to be the pure heart of the town uh, and all that now. But like the last like, tw I remember when I was a wee boy, I used to always be in like Ruggy and Canby Main Street and all that. But like, see, even remember like Landemar Day and all that and Canby Gala Day and mate, stuff like mate, that, mate. You didn't get none of that shit, mate. mate they we, were like the highlight of the year, man. I, I didn't like, get Canby Gala Day, mate. I was well, doing there. Mate, we went to Canby. I took Canby Gala Day. 
experience. But it's just not but the same as what it was, mate. Nah. No, I've I, never had. I've never had a mad. Um, com- a I've never had a mad community so that man. pure. Uh, that's what I was thinking about. Like, see, cause it's the same with Ruggy, Camby, fucking like Duke Street. See, like Pollock Shaw's Road. Not see anywhere else got a high street. Uh, it's always just, like that. It's a mad like. Uh-huh. I just feel like Camby and Ruggy is just one street. Do you know what just, I mean? Like, it's just from, cat, from like. Raglan all the way up to like wet ha- Hamilton Aye. it's just one road it's a straight line it's just mate. a big straight road if just I, all the way up if I meet somebody for Ruggie I'll be like oh do you know this cunt it's like cunts for Camby and that but it's, just, it's kind of just like one place in it Aye. to me Aye. anyway I don't know Aye. if that's a bit like would that, would that be Aye. fucking sacrilege no but I found it see when I was over at Gourley, right I find the difference between these places is like Canvas slang's massive, mate, right? Uh-huh. So, like... But you've got wee bits in, in Aye, it. but there's hundreds of wee different areas in it, whereas Aye. I find there your way, you're, like, you're in Springburn, you're in Ockenairn, you're in uh, Royston. It's Aye. very, like, you're in somewhere so for that, two that minutes. Just, it's scheme, uh, like, it's like, a congregate, like, every... Because there is wee bits, like, different bits, but everybody comes to one place, usually. Mm-hmm. Like, Springburn uh-huh. Park was a place that cunts for, like, all different backgrounds. Not <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> All different backgrounds and fucking people, yeah. ethnicities. Yeah. No, it was just hunters, a wee dicks, what a booze up yeah. the park. But aye, so that is similar to an Easter house is like that, but like they have, mm-hmm. they have like mad gang. <laughs> like I, I was an Easter house once and this is kind of like what we are talking about now, about like stoning at the back. Like, oh, ah, yeah, uh, like this kind of happened. I was in a gaff in Easter house and I didn't even know many cunts and I was just went through, like, it was when you're a wee guy and you just go through one cunt. And I was sitting and I mean all my pals like hard and they come just sitting boozing that. And then like there was like word that like this other scheme, like the I don't even know what the schemes are up there, like Torn or something, where a guy can run that and I'll like if see if these cunts can run, you just need to help us chase. Uh, but if you don't stay here and chase these cunts away ways, then these are fucking bams and we'll chase you know what I like, imagine. <laughs> well I, obviously bro, I was boozing for hours, mate, and then it got to like two in the morning and you just had like glass shot them. We guys at the back with big kitchen cleavers, not jumping fences, mate. <laughs> Me and my pals bounced up like yeah, 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 I got every cut right outside and we just boosted. <laughs> I remember see you're talking about like schemes coming down that I remember when I was in school, right? We took a we took a picture. Right, but we were doing that in it, like W, right? But that was well, that was well known <laughs> with Fernhill Wifty, who are that Fernhill's nuts, mate, right? So a we we were all doing that in a picture, like when we were out so, uh, at something, right? And, side, a, bro? A, and I know, but no, they yeah. took it. They no. Is that no? I, I mean, I'm that's West Side. Every aye, that's West Side, but but uh, where uh, we are feeling that's Wifty. That's, 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 that's how mad Wifty are. That they took all that, mate. The Wifty throw that up. Non-stop. Oh, it's constant uh, whiskey, mate. So uh, we done it in a picture, right? And I remember there was a boy in, in our year, Jack, who hung about with him as well, and he was like, ah. <laughs> he was like, ah, to us one lunchtime. Here, a fury, fucking fury, Fernhill boys are no happy at all about that picture. Right? And I'm like, ah, I'm like, shut up. You know what I mean? He's like, ah, he's like, ah mate, they said they're coming down here at lunchtime to fucking talk to you about see you about it and that. As if, like, you have got to get leathered after them. Do you know what I mean? I was like, ah. It was like me, my pal Danny, like I was three years. <laughs> no, that, and there's a good few of them going to come down. They're, 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 you can't do that. No, that was like, mate, ah, what? Yeah. Now that way, I'm sitting like second, third, fourth period, pure. Oh, not like they just a dread of like lunchtime coming, me. And I remember like nothing even happened. But I was like, see that yeah. feeling of like I don't know if he was bamming us up, and I don't know, I don't know what happened. But I just remember being like, now that way, you like have to sit for like two oh, hours going. Mate, I'm getting yeah. pasted yeah. in about an hour. Aye, mate, aye, you just need to wait for it. I used to get told like I'm going to punch your head in after school and every time we feel weird about it's nine o'clock in the morning I hate I'd be sitting going oh, I've got a fucking cough man I mean you got a bro man <laughs> fucking no feeling that class, man, mate, we need to talk about how you go in trouble yeah. in school how you got kick, kicked out Judge. oh right aye uh, so that's a fairly, a fairly mad one so uh, if I just start it for the top start anyway. start right, it so to be fair like in the lead up to it I had been had to it maybe a few times for different things and that, but nothing pure major, just be stupid things, right? And then it was, I think I was in fifth year, and uh, basically this band for X Factor came up to Trinity, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and we were dogging it, obviously, and like we're getting stoned or whatever, and fucking, we've came back in, and like 
they were doing a gig to like first to like maybe third year and then we've came in at the back pure or pure howling and stuff like that and uh, I'll never forget what the guy said right it always mm. stays and he's he's like the gig's finished and he's like if anybody wants a picture with me there's a warning because we're seriously hot today so we're just like like what is this, this these are like first years like 13, 14 oh, and 15 like, oh. and like this band of like it's 15 we're like this guy's a pure nonsense oh, do you know what I mean so I've been like right get us a sharpie and I'll write something with my arm and go get a picture with him and like I've done the my classic man wank right in my arm <laughs> and uh, with an arrow pointing to it but then like when I went up to him like how did I say this like being political I was being very camp so I was going oh my god you were like fucking amazing <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like I break through the barriers uh, right? yeah. just feel and then like, I've got this picture and I've just done the old fuck you the wine king <laughs> and then took the picture and like uh, I think I tweeted them or something like that but I sure didn't I think I had like <laughs> 50, I think I had like 100 followers or 50 followers on Twitter this time this is like what 2014 15 or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I, next thing I know it's like two days later and my brother just comes rushing in my door and he's like you're a fucking idiot and I'm like, why? And he's like, showed me like on his phone a picture of the Daily Record, and it's just fucking my face, like <laughs> uh, pup school pupil, school pupil, um, pranks Kingsland star. <laughs> Mate, look at this squint in my most famous, my most famous picture, and I've got that fucking. Oh really? Like, pupils, pupil fools Kingsland singer with hidden insult as they post a picture. Mate, Boy band star was unaware that cheeky lad was <laughs> taking the Mickey out of him out on a visit to school. Look at that spare. Spelling a key on the norm, and that's a, <laughs> that's a, that's a, a disgrace, bro. Mate, that's a joke. Mate, that's, that's a pretty fucking unreal. That's a good, mate, that's keep, go, keep going. That. You see, the, oh, I think they blocked it. There's a pair of tweeted them. Oh, yeah. they, they blocked it out. Look at your arm. Mate, <laughs> but like, see, in the, I think it, it shows you the comments because one of them like responded to me, and I was like, You were shite. I did it. I didn't read that, right? So, so I. Kieran, Kieran added, "Yous were shite and sound as if someone had put elastic bands around your balls." <laughs> <laughs> Fucking like, so, but mate, it turned, in the mate, but then it turned into like a pure big thing. So in the rugby reformer, there was a column, a weekly column for about four weeks, and like people were posting in their like thoughts and opinions. So, like this, this people, he's only having a joke and all that. And then the like, angry mums were like, saying, "This is a this is a joke to our community." And like, uh, I, ended oh up, mate, I ended up getting pure huckled into it, mate. The next, see that morning when my brother showed me the papers, mate. Like, Mr. Bowling, he was our head teacher, mate. He was like six foot four, baldy guy. Like, he was scary as shit, right? And I remember coming in, man, and like, we wrote, like, all my pals are still in the group, and everybody knows what's happened. They're all fucking howling, man, and I'm like, oh, this is not good, man. And Mr. Bowling just goes, Kieran! We were in the, the mad street area with everybody, and like, the pl I just remember the place going quiet like that, man. And like, he's that, and like, I got like halfway to him, he's like, my office, no! Next thing I know, there was like, the police got involved, mate. Like, <laughs> mate, the, so the, the lawyer got involved in all this what, shit. The, so, the, the mad cunt lawyer? Mate, so, mate, <laughs> What's so a what a pussy, I don't think. They basically tried to uh, do maybe breaking a telecommunications act within school, so taking pictures within school. And then the other thing was uh, I, br I brought the school into disrespute. So it was like, my dad's a teacher and all, right? So my, my dad was there. The he day. Disgraced. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Disgraced. That sounds like a nightmare you would have and be like, oh, oh man, man, what the fuck I was doing? My wing. dad used to work with the head teacher, so he knew him very well, right? And then, like, the police and all that. And, like, my dad's just like, that, like, what the fuck? Like, it's just a joke. It doesn't need to be this ah, serious on, and stuff man. like this. But then, like, that was, like, the final straw. Because, like, I, could, I suppose I could tell this one pretty quickly. The, the, the reason why I got proper banned for it was, like, f or, like, kicked out of school was, like, three months before that. I took a, a picture of a teacher, right? And he was like, mate, everybody knew him as a mad beast, right? He used to, like, show people in our class, like, Marlon Monroe, like, pure in the stud and all this stuff. And, like, <laughs> mate, 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 this guy, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Butler, mate, I'll name and shame him, mate. Mr. <laughs> I'll get a Mr. Fuck, Butler, mate, you're fuck dirty, man. Mr. Butler, you're I mean, that. Sorry, <laughs> my friend. Mr. Mate, this is a belter, be fair, for my dad, right? So... I've uh, took the picture of Mr. Butler and like he's leaning over and he's like, mate, he used to like call all the girls in the class pure beautiful and gorgeous, just oh, stuff like that. Creepy little fucking creepy cunt. Stuff. And like I pure argued one day and I was like, like if my dad was saying that, I would be pure disgusting, oh, man. Like, pure horrific, horrific, mate. Oh, so mate, I, didn't I took turn a picture right of him and put it in my Facebook and I was like, I captured, I've been done with social media a few times, man. <laughs> and uh, I captioned it, uh, a paedophile at work. Like, <laughs> mate, <laughs> mate, two days later, Caution, mate, two, two days later, like my 
my mum used to always pick me up for school. Like, it was never my dad. One day I walk out, my dad's there, and I'm like, why the fuck's my dad here? My dad's like back in the school. And I'm like, oh no. So I go in and I sit down and like, my dad's like, what's this all about? And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, right, we'll see. We went in, it's my dad, Mr. Bowling, and this teacher. He's got a screenshot of my Facebook page, right? <laughs> Snoop me, bro. Well, you this know. is where it got on to, right? So he's like leaned it forward, and I've had no argument whatsoever. I'm like, I have done it in that, and like, it was felt like, <laughs> I've done it. Like, it felt like, but you want me to do And like, my dad just went like that, but my dad's just like kind of, like, my dad's quite a big guy, you know, and he's just kind of leaned forward. He was like, fair enough, Kieran's like made this mistake, but how did you find yourself in my son's Facebook? And he was just like, eh, it's, it's not me that's getting questioned here. And my dad's been like, well, I think that's a fair enough question. But uh, I got papped at the room after that and then I got kicked out. But then I, but then that then led to the fucking, the Kingsland time. <laughs> yeah. like, mate, I had to sit my exams. So I, I, mate, I got, they made me sit my exams in a room myself because like- they, Solitary confinement. I, <laughs> like, I pure had to come in the school and like sit all my exams in a room myself. <laughs> <laughs> because like I a pure head head case. Case. You were a uh, menace, mate. mate a there, was, like, there was people in my school that were getting caught with like chibs, drugs, like the full right. ball. And then I've done mate, this wee do stupid hang and like getting pure- Do you know what it was, but it was probably, I think the King, Kingsland I think they have good lawyers mate uh, I think they, they have some excellent lawyers no. if you're fucking with the X now, factor mate, into <laughs> exactly obscurity uh, I mean, yeah, I, imagine my dad was at well Kieran here uh, they are now uh, they walk uh, in uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> see now, for the second half of the next guest we've got Kingsland <laughs> we got Kingsland right, coming so. in mate see if somebody told me like they were just like I have I fucking won next factor like somebody in Tesco or something I'd be uh, like mate I don't even doubt okay. it uh, yeah. no I mean like that who's that guy Dante Le oh, who's the guy Leon or something like that Leon Jackson no I Leon Jackson right at the very that, start no wait what was his oh no that's like, not, like I think all these X Factor winners they've had that like wee bit of fame and then just mate, mate it was always the people that came second I, they, they were always the, the who's the most famous X Factor winner because is it like Leona Lewis, Lewis or something maybe Alexandra Burke Burke she's asked me she's Leona right. Lewis she's done well for us oh no well that James Arthur I don't know Jim, mate, but then he got off with Rita Raw and it pure Crumble no, 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 no. Um, fucking one, one Direction. Did you oh, Harry Styles in that? Uh, uh, or did they win it? Uh, they were oh, saying that's where so the mad second, second thing comes in. I think it's like, oh, look at what well, you got to look at One Direction. GLS, GLS. They were good, but they know what brands get down or something. Uh, is he an I'm a celebrity or something like that? Mate, I'm a celebrity. May be good this year. Maybe Nigel Farage is on it, man. Did it? Did it? Mental, man. What is he actually? Ah, he's on it, man. I'm like kind of curious to watch it a bit, but then I'm like, he's just a fucking I know, man, weasel, man. I don't know. If I'd they always get somebody in it like that that you like. I want to see him squirm like that, Matt Hancock. He was on well, they or? done fucking, would you call her an off Thatcher's daughter or something? Did you know? Thatcher's daughter. Thatcher's daughter. Was <laughs> well, imagine that's all they called her. Didn't Aye. give Thatcher's daughters up for eviction. Sarah Thatcher or something. Big Thatcher's daughter. If, you, if you're a that, imagine being like a Thatcher. Imagine being Evan Thatcher. Fuck, Fuck that. You that. <laughs> <laughs> mate, imagine just got, having to have that name, mate, because you're never going to be met. Like, even mate, my dad doesn't even drink the Thatcher's cans because oh, they're so sad. Mate, my dad rattles the things, mate. Uh, they mate, they mate, 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 is, is it just no? no. Right, so no. see two scrump for one to scrump. See if we were to like, get, get a wee fucking gang of the troops and go to scrump the night. Right. What we'd be doing is stealing apples for an orchard. Right. That's, oh. So Jack was a guy that fucking scrumped. What like, fuck, mate? He's a hustler. Oh, really? And that's enough. that scrump to Jack. Stole Hunter's apples and then stole, made his own booze. Made his own booze, mate. Fair He's a scrumpish, mate. Right. He's done well for himself, isn't he? Old scrump. How yeah. do you know that? That's such a class I, fact. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate. mate, I learned something as well. Do you know? Do you know about this? How they, where they're saying "let the cat out the bag" comes from? I, I've heard that saying right. for that. So, uh, what was in medieval times? Right, you would go down and there would be un like unfaithful merchants. Would you say like the guys who try to say, "Aye, this is a this is a can of Fanta lemon." Aye, Aye. Right. Know, so they would have a big sack and they'd be like, eh, "What's that in there?" They'd be like, ah, "It's a pig, mate." And they'd be like, ah, "Fucking brilliant, love eating pig." Geese that pig, right here you go, and then they would get him and open it 
And it would be a fucking cat, cat mate. Be a, cat. a fucking stupid wee cat. Just the cat can't like eat a cat. Mate. That's what it comes to. Right? It was Letting the cat out the bag because you're like, oh, you fucker. Aye, he's let it out now. Bless they, would show, they would show a bag of real pig uh, and then be like, I'll get you your uh, one. Uh, yours, your your like, why would you wait that long? Like, surely you would hear it. <laughs> like, that one, that one yeah. no, like I, That's Because <laughs> Joe, where I've heard that, which makes me discredit it a bit. Carol Pilkington said that that's like been pure burning in my mind for like the wreckage of A's like Carol Pilkington no, that's true and he's is that you know true, big wigs as well you know what that is big wigs what's right. that so <laughs> this is class this is class yeah, that's a like same. if you see like, like, if, oh, like the, the big, big wigs right, right, so okay. what that comes from is um, I think don't know like sort of Napoleon times sort of like way back <clears throat> everybody started getting syphilis right but syphilis obviously if you are even if you're rich or poor it doesn't matter you, you'll get it and like back then like your hair would fall out right so to be bald back then was like a pure like the mere hair you had the mere like grand you were do you know what i mean oh, that right. was so like what the happened was syphilis. all the, like, the french royal family and that started getting syphilis and all their hair fell out so they would get people to make them big oh, massive the wigs, wigs and, and that's where that, that comes to that's what it means like a big wig that like, makes sense when you always see like the mad french movies back in the day they aye, all had the big aye. massive that napoleon's hat was like that and all he had just have a big they leg. all wanted uh, a big wig uh, uh, what'd you call that fucking amy winehouse like a big amy winehouse uh, hang underneath it it's kind of amy winehouse uh, isn't it yeah, having a big wig like that why do the fucking judges wear wigs? I don't know. No, how do they wear they mad wigs? Um, oh, what is that for again? Is it uh, is that a disguise? Is I that see when you think is that every judge spot and all like oh. every country they all kind? Well, no. not every country, I suppose. No, I don't think it oh, is. Fuck is it is that like the mate? Why the British rule? Just Here British. We go. Right, wait. So, um, where can I start for? You? But in the UK, nothing is more British than the iconic white wig judges and attorneys or barristers, as they're known, were during formal courtroom proceedings. Many of the judges and barristers, oh, Me pop up, many of the judges and barristers who wear wigs say the headpiece, known as a peruke, <laughs> brings a sense of formality and solemnity to the courtroom. So that's why it's Big Lee Sutherland wears one. It's just aesthetics. He, Lee Sutherland's got one of them, mate. Think how mental that is. Maybe he's got just as much right to wear it as some daft judge, bro. I Fuck judge, mate. Why yeah. are they? Why are they wear mad I love wigs, the mad bro? Judge shows, but see the mad judge render. Aye, that. mate, they're <laughs> unreal, man. But see, like, imagine going on to these. Oh, look, that's what you're saying, mate. Wigs, wigs began to wigs, catch yeah. on in the late 19th, uh, 16th century when an increasing number of people in Europe were contracting the STI without widespread treatment with antibiotics. Sir Alexander Fleming didn't discover penicillin. Blah, blah blah. People with syphilis were plagued by rashes, blindness, dementia, open sores, and hair loss. The hair loss was a pr particularly problematic in social circles long hair was all the rage and premature balding was a dead giveaway that someone had contracted the big the big s the big s syphilis mate fuck that man what a bit and like just back then man there's like <laughs> once you get anything man you're pretty much fucked <laughs> <man. laughs> <It's laughs> like, 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 oh no you know what's funny about that like see um see how like it's saying it was like all the fashion back then was like the opposite of what was going to kill you. So, like, see, like, when starvation was killing cunts, it was like class being fat, by the way. Aye. Like, fancy fat cunts, and when syphilis is going about, it's like, yeah, the opposite of syphilis, that's what will get you. Aye. Do you know what I mean? That was always the opposite. I mean, imagine getting a big wig to hide your syphilis and all your up your prick, mate, just spreading mm. about. Why? I think people should bring back the big wig instead of got it like turkey in it. Aye, that would be bring good. Bring back man. a big fuck Everybody's off. Got a imagine, too, like, man. but imagine, so, say, say I lose my hair, right? And I'm like, ah, right, okay. What can I do here? See if I get a pure illustrious wig made, like, mm. and it was so obviously a wig, like, now because people get wigs and try and make it look like it's not a wig. Hair. What if I just wore a wig and I was like, "This is, you know, this is a wig," but it was like a sort of this looks as if like I and what? Aye, mm -hmm. I've got this amazing wig on. I like, I like, just appreciate the wig. Aye. Don't never mind the bald. Just had appreciate wig, the wig. If you had a wig that was as glorious enough to just wear all the time, then mm -hmm. I so think you get a so every couple of weeks, that, do you know Yeah, I, mean? I may shave my fucking bonds and get a big fucking wig. Hey, cut a bit, it. embrace the wig, let's bro. Be you big can wigs. get the ones that you glue onto the top of your head, and all. Mate, like, have, you seen, these, mate, have you, you seen these? Have you seen the mad? Uh, have you seen <laughs> the mad? <laughs> uh, <toupee? laughs> uh, have you seen the mad barbers? And it's like on like African American hair. They fucking like turn mad old guys that are just bald there they turn them into fucking it, they just look about 20 mm -hmm. like they cut off their beard and like glue shit uh, and they're heating that and shape it all up and that aye. and they just look it's like so, it's aye. mad that you can just glue that like because that you couldn't do that with my hair look insane if you glued my hair and Wait, I don't think we should do that but me I want to ask I want to ask Donnie so there's a young man that we spoke about we need to give him a code name I'm thinking what about Colin 
Aye, uh, Colin. Colin will do. I just need to remember that now. Aye, if you, if you say it, we'll believe it, right? Yeah. So I told a story on the first episode of Riley's Gaff about somebody asked what's the worst badging you've ever seen or what is the worst badging you've ever had? And I said, look, there's no point in me in telling you about me. It's got to be shite. I'll tell you about another one. So this boy took a lot of acid, a few ekies as well, kind of lost his mind in this house. But then I remember a lot, so a lot of people said to me about that, like, there's no chance that's real. Know what I mean? Me. There's no way. Can you can you even tell us in my, uh, what you remember of that uh, night? Pff, man, I remember it pretty much. Oh. So like it was a pretty mental night. Like he done multiple like echoes and like multiple tabs of acid, right? Like and it's mental back then, but like we were 15, 16 and we felt like we're invincible, we can do fucking anything, right? So like we were all kinda in a similar boat that night, but he just like completely like ripped the piss man and like Basically, like, he kind of went missing for a point. And uh, one of my pals, he was like, I'm, I'll try and leave it the names and stuff like that. And he was like, no, we need to get him back pronto. He's tried to walk him back to his mom's house and that. And we're like, no, he needs to get him. So basically, he's been packed in a taxi. Like, a boy was well, and he's got him in a taxi back to the gaff. And, like, uh, my pa he's been phoned, but, in a, but he's been phoned after this boy, Colin. And uh, but it wasn't Colin that answered the phone, it was a taxi driver, right? Or something right, like that, yeah. right? The taxi slapped me, I'm outside this gaff, but you're going to come out and get your pal. And we've kind of went out and stuff like that. But I wasn't there at this point, but my, my pals, they've kind of went out and for what they've they've told us is uh, the windows were all steamy and the taxi drivers came out and he was like, I don't even want any money. Like, I just want to make sure your pal's sound in that. And like, they've they've said like, right on cue, like the windows are all steamy. He just, like, <laughs> And fucking like came right up to the window like it, I'm a fucking scary. <laughs> They've all kind of shat themselves, but basically like it was like shouting shit about like the time and stuff like that. And like we heard like, we spoke to him also after it and basically like he was like looking at the clock in the, the taxi and like he was like hitting it that was like a, a countdown to him being fucking did oh, like right. once it hit a mad time, like I think it was like something like free it was free something anyway. And like once it hit that time, like that was at like the end of the world. He was like, done. Uh, he was but like mind, done. mind him bouncing in the gaff. Uh, uh, aye. So then we finally got him into the house, right? And like he's like went from like being like three or four people like outside to then just going in this gaff that's like thirty odd people, maybe twenty odd people there, and he's just like pff, went wild, man. Like he's like pressed his back up against the wall, like he started like it's like it was mental like it was like gone through like f almost like three different like mm -hmm. personality things like mm -hmm. the first like, one was like uh it was like kind of like screaming like a wolf and then like it was like <laughs> like a wolf mad, <laughs> mate, like pure howling right. like pure like and then like it was like pure like backed up against the wall and then like it was like he was like scurrying up the stairs and we were like, mate, try and calm down. And he found, the, he basically thought that we were all mad crazy Russians with like the mad Russian head gear and all that stuff. Like. And like he was pure like freaking out, thinking that we were all mad try Russians. Try and so, him and that. Mate, and he just didn't know what was going on. And like, but the funniest thing, mate, like he's actually like scurrying up these stairs, man. And there's like a Christmas tree was just at like, so it's like a, the stairs, a wee landing and then stairs again. And like, he's like bumped out of this Christmas tree and all the madness, he's turned and looked at this tree. He's like, Christmas Jesus Christ, and then he's like, <laughs> he said, became, Christ, and like, that room. became like his mad fucking motto. Like, Christmas Jesus Christ, uh, he like, was talking like that as I was going, oh. uh, and, and then he started like shouting out numbers, and I, oh, he shout, started shouting out no chance, I, I, no chance, no, no, no chance, chance, no chance. Uh, but he must have been saying that to himself, looking at us, thinking we are uh, Russian soldiers, and being like, uh, no chance. Uh, yeah. So and he's only got an hour left or something. Mate, and then like it got, mate, it got to the point like where. We were like, this is fucking like, like the last like in a night. The like, no matter how bad it gets, I don't think I've ever came to the point where we we're like, right, we need to phone the fucking ambulance or something. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. But like, it got to that point, and we we're like, right, fuck the ambulance is getting phoned and we stuff. Actual like that. Road, uh, mate, I forgot about that. Mate, <laughs> wild mate, and like we we're all fucking like, no, exactly, we were all sober and all, man, and like the <laughs> mate, wild mate, when I'm trying to hang back to us and like, mate, and like, uh, he basically like, we, like we got him into a room and there was like five years, right? And it was like a few of the older boys who was like my pals, big brother's pals, and like oh one God. of them is like a boxer, right? And <laughs> we're like, we're like try cam fucking, we're try cam call him down, down. <laughs> but mate, he's like jumping my boot, like, no mate, and he was like shouting all these mad numbers and stuff like that. And like, we were like, what the fuck is going on? And like, we were like, we'll just knock him out. <laughs> 
fucking good. Like, we'll just like, knock like, up, like, down, like, 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 and fucking like he's like got ready like he's actually like, got just a bit of second away for doing it and like one of my pals is like stood in front of him like no we can't fucking crack him to knock him out <laughs> imagine getting Mate. cracked off a boxer in that oh, stage I like, oh, fuck I mean and imagine he doesn't go out and you may go to the crack him like I'm a fish that won't die that's what it said like, <laughs> how funny would it be if it was like if you had like know how you're jiu jitsu and that I don't know if I'm going to go on it how funny would it be if you just put him on a mad fucking choke mate going back that should probably be the fucking training round for him man Funny thing mate, mate, he then ended up in his back like mate it's mental hang back to this man and like the I mean when the paramedics finally came and like the guy was like and he's like sixties maybe like late sixties and he was like he asked it I'd never forget him asking and I'd only ever seen bath salts and they mad crazy American things when it's like mm. people's got like their flesh falling off and that and he was like has he been taking bath salts? Mm, and that's how like, fucked he was uh, and he was like this is like the worst he was like I've never seen anything like this bad man and like uh, we've had to like phone his mom and that and like we're like he's in a really bad neck now because it was like really bad man and we're like this is no this is no funny anymore like we're all like what the fuck's going on he's howling like a wolf and the mate but this is now, like <laughs> this is that. like six in the morning and the first of January and there's no like neighbours or oh. and all this mate <laughs> neighbours that, that makes me feel so like mate I, I feel that in my core bro oh, mate, that was, mad cold but then we had to oh. carry him mate we had to carry him for, so <laughs> like in a way I don't see when I think back to him like, I don't know why they just didn't get a stretch oh maybe because but he probably I don't know, but they broke it to me. They pretty much like, no, like five years, like picked him up and like he's like fucking gone taunt to him. Like we try and get him in, but one of the boys end up dropping him by mistake, obviously. And he still had the deck and like we finally got him into the oh, ambulance bro. and then like it kind of went quiet for a bit. And then like I'll never remember, I'll never forget, sorry, the the sound band when his mods turned up and like he's like he's in the he's in the fucking the ambulance and she's went in and you've just heard him just going ah because <laughs> imagine being that out your tits and then boom your mods are raging <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and like but aye, that was a fucking a mad situation man mate that, but, that how nuts mate, is that see, mate? but see what out was see the full time you were talking then I was trying to picture I kept laughing so I was trying to picture what he was thinking I, 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 the whole time imagine getting drops yeah. and they're being blue red <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> what the Why fuck you're just going like, through universities because like, I've been that fucked maybe no, obviously know that fucked but I've been that you've fucking seen me in the fucking caravan oh, me actual pure can talk not no knowing what's going on and I was just a mad student like that pure <laughs> All that madness happening, mate. Mm. I couldn't fucking handle that. Mate, bro, what about mate. The, what about the story at the bucket? I know, remember? Hi, <sighs> mate. So Wait, the, the the and then I want to talk about your jujitsu. How long have we done, by the way? That's forty-six minutes. That's good. Oh, that's mate, good. Flying through, mate, fuck flying too. through. There's so, so much. So what is the is there is there a bucket? Uh, you mate, mate, bucket? The bucket at the garage mate, is a whole thing. We used to like organise like see where we would say we would meet you, mate. There's like two ways you would locate. I'll get you. So everybody had a lane. Like there would be like Gary's lane, Evans lane, Donkey's <laughs> lane, like, That's sick. mate, and like all there would be like the drummy bucket, the the halfway bucket, and like oh. they would just be. That's be how you would figure it's it. Like, that's where I would get map it. That's like we your pinpoints on GTA. Or ah, something. Yeah, your waypoints and that. Yeah, go, yeah, exactly. Drummy bucket. Mate, drop man in the drummy bucket. <laughs> you wouldn't even say you wouldn't even say like you're I'm, I'm on halfway, you go like that, I'm about five minutes away for a halfway bucket. Uh, you, just mail it precise. Uh, oh mate, but, that's uh, fucking dynamite having And stash. like it was the, but it was mate, I, I told him mate, I was like, don't do it, it was that salvia shit, the mad legal high stuff and like I, mate, I've seen this many. This is Colin again, by the way. Big Colin, big Colin. Colin back in. I, was, I, was, in I, I was, was, was like, this is not, it was just me and him, right? And it couldn't mm. have, the situation couldn't have been any worse because it was me and him. And then, like, all the mad, like, local, like, uh, Russians, I, Russian I, soldiers. No, well, the, like, the local, like, <laughs> bands, Neds, whatever, good cunts, but, but I've grown up with them all, so Aye. I've obviously all known them all. But d has not right? So this is, like, one of the Colin has not Colin has not He's a little bit of 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 a I mean, that's like to describe this place. It's like imagine a mad forest a bit, and it's like doing a mad mucky hill, and there's like a wee bun, and like you would jumped over like the wee bun bit, and this is where it is, and everybody's thrown in there, and like 
these mad cunts are all looking at him like he's hitting a pure badge and they're all howling and then next thing you hear mate sirens going off it's the bloody mm. polis mate so <laughs> we're like you need to get your your stuff together uh, the new yeah. mate <laughs> oh, sorry I keep on fucking doing oh, it's that all right, it's all right. but, uh, calling and, uh, <laughs> and uh, I was like you need to get your shit together now and then it's pure freaking out even me and like he just starts shouting out numbers and I'm like oh me that's can't read numbers mate yeah. and like Morpheus? Uh, the police are like I can see the so they've like kind of went up they're like mate we'll try and like stop them from coming down here so they've actually done as a turn and like a few of them ran up and then like they've been like talking to the police and all that and then uh, the police are, they're also asking them what he's doing and all that and they're just talking shit but I'm trying to control only, sorry <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm still like trying like uh, he's like trying to police I'm like mate you need and he was like he's just started all these numbers I was like what's going through your mind he's like mate you, your brain capacity cannot deal with what I'm trying to like oh mate I don't with, wear them like, on mate, the spot and like but he was saying it is that mate this he was super, super mate, this smart. Boy's this boy's like, mate, like insanely this boy's like smart. Straight right, type. sorry. I, I used to have a cunt, sorry, that used to say that, that exact shit. And it was after I seen a cunt smoking Sylvia and he, he was saying stuff like that. Aye. And he, but he was saying, like, I just don't, but he was a mad wank. Aye. Aye. He used to see his dad worked at NASA and all that. It was madness. But anyway, sorry, go back but, to uh, Colin. Aye, and then he just started, uh, Colin just started like pure shaking, calling out numbers, talking about like brain capacity. And then <laughs> he took off like a, a leaf or something like that. And he was like looking at it, like the molecules in this or like, and he was like doing this and like looking at it. Like, what the fuck <laughs> is going on, man? And then like literally, because Salvi's only like five, 10 minutes and like he's went through this, mate. And then if no, and then the worst part is like, I'm finally seeing like the police go away. And I've like, I've just hold your shit for a couple of minutes. And then I've turned around and he's fell backwards into like this mad bushy area with like all the mad jagging nettles and all that. He's just started like pure shouting and screaming again. And I'm like, what the mate, fuck that's is going it's a on, nightmare. man? And mate, finally the police went away and like, I had to just sit there doing this mad ditch covered in muck until he like came out the other side, man. So, mate, I you're was, a good pal. So uh, mate, I'd have been off, bro. <laughs> In the bunk. I know this pussy. This couldn't still be me. This couldn't do it. Clean man. Oh, what a mate! Craziness, man. But he's a great guy. Just he's actually all right. He's actually a great guy. He's just just mad. He's explored his mind, bro. Do you know what I think it is? Like I think, see, because like some people are so intelligent, I think they just get bored and they just want to like really go for it and see like how far can like day to day life just boring. Just this existence, they've got too much. A lot of people, I know, like a lot of cunts who. Like the smartest cunts I know get on it for like fucking seven days straight. You know what I mean? Genuinely, like Aye, most of the time you should see. And if they're a mad proper like club worker, like I meet cunts that are out and they're pure fuck not and all that. So we got a PhD in aeronautical engineering. Aye, not pure pure fucking aero. Aye, PhD. Is that, oh. a, is that a key, mate? Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I, fucking PhD in that. Right, mate. But you mate, must I, just want to get but, to fuck away from it. There's, right? there's a weird thing that I think about where I think oh, obviously that is like know what you want to be doing, but. Then at the same time, it's like, what is this all about? Like, are we, is it just about having good experiences or is it about getting to like a certain level up here? Or like, no. what is this all about? Uh, like, because if you're, if you're just chasing like fun times uh, and that's all you're looking for, then that life is good for you. Uh, Do you know what I mean? Like, I eventually it'll catch up with you, but uh, I, I, there's so I, many people that... Aye. To, to a like, obviously a lesser extent, like, I feel like it's the same as like, you know how, like, mad artists and that like see mad singers that are pure mm. geniuses not, yeah. and then up pure tortured and they'll just mad get for Jim Morrison getting for us in a bathtub uh, not like shit like that but to a mad <laughs> little your level I'm not saying Colin's a genius bro uh, but if he's got a big fucking brain. like mad brain try to calm it down mm. a bit obviously why I fucking get I for it get a bit of mate. spice in a park uh, bro <laughs> mate bit of salvia man that shit was wild but back in the day man what was the other one black mamba and stuff like black that black mamba <laughs> all the illegal <laughs> eyes you're like but you get them at his stuff in soon mate, mate stuff in soon mate, mate, mate that I, place was legendary I've been wanting to talk about these shops in the tune that don't exist yeah. anymore there was that mate. stuff my two favourite shops what I used to do mate I used to get into the tune like all the time so I was like five minutes for the tune so I just used to be in the tune constant and I would only ever go to a mad gadget shop that was yeah. at John Lewis and that and, do you know what gadget shop I'm talking about 
bit. But, it was called like Red Four yeah, Gadgets. I know, yeah, and it had like wee robots in it. Oh, and that. I mean, just fly about wee robots and that. So I used to go there and then walk all the way. Oh fuck, walk all the way down to stuff, mate. Because stuff was fucking insane. Ah, they did have like just my jars of salvia uh, behind the counter and that. It's crazy. And they used to like I was going in at like about fifteen with my brother's IDs and they were just like I need ball and just Aye. it's crazy man. They didn't care but back then. Remember, I just but, remember getting in as a wee guy and looking at all the skins and being uh, like mango. Aye, and they would have like the, they would have the seeds and all that. Aye. Aye. Aye, I'll get all. Aye, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I done that for that mad. See that hemp house doing at Glasgow Cross. Mm-hmm. That's been there for fucking years. I know. I mind doing that. I was like, it'll go down. I went and get pots. Not me. I had seeds in my house. I was like, what the fuck am I gonna do? No idea. Just put water pot. in it. Ah, like, yeah, but, oh, okay, wait. Hope but. for the best. My wait six weeks now. Where are you going to go? No, madness. But um, I want to talk about your jujits, mate. Aye, but man. the thing is, I feel like this story starts way back for another incident uh, that happened to you, right? Mm-hmm, probably. Do you know what I'm talking about? Was it one that was uh, before uh, all the charity fighting and stuff like that? Aye, uh, aye. The thing that, I don't know, I feel like when I've spoke to you about it, you've said, off the back of all that happening, uh, that led to you so, wanting uh, to do fighting and that. So uh, I've told Jamie Wood about this. This is insane, but Jamie Kelly does not know about this. So let us, let us have it, mate. So... You talk, so basically when I was, uh, I don't know, when I was young, he was talking about me getting in a fucking, a bit of a scrap with a good, no, no, no. No, the thing that happened to your gaff. Oh, my gaff. Aye, right. Oh, fuck. Right. right. Thank God I cleared that one up. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell the who's your daddy. We can talk about it. We'll talk about the who's. See right. that fight, but uh-huh. we'll talk about that on Patreon. So I the, the who's was, um, mate, so basically like, one day I was like during that whole period but I was just like I don't know I was like no doing anything I was just fucking out on it all the time and then basically one day my dad phones me and he was like have you fucking left a joint or something like in your room or something and I'm like no what are you talking about and he's like the house is on fire and I'm like, like I'm like but see in work I'm like I didn't even like like take in, I was like, what? And then he was like, I was like, but Danny come home, and he was like, Kieran, the fucking house is on fire, don't know. And I'm like, oh shit, man, this is like serious. And like, I remember jumping, jumping up, and like, I was like to my boss, I need fucking get out of here. I've jumped to my motor, fucking house is on fire. Mate, I phoned my bra, mate. I phoned my bra, mate, and my bra's pocket dialed me, mate. And all I could hear was like fire brigade and my mom shouting <gasps> my mom was like pure freaking out mate like her, so i'm like pure oh my god mate i'm bombing it like fucking absolutely bombing it for like uh where was uh so i was working them um, just up for seat of oh, how do you display coat bridge kind of pretty much for there all the way back to my house in drummy and then i remember just coming out of the street and i'm like seeing all the smoke and all that and i'm like holy fucking shit and then uh, the road was all cordoned off so I, mean, I just remember like stopped my motor, didn't even take the keys out, and I just remember running. And then like there was like two firemen and a policeman like came running towards me, and like I've like ran that way, and then like just ran run them, and like I've ran run them. And I've, I remember just got to the front of my house, and like there was like it was just all this commotion. Then the first fireman that walked out, just by sheer chance, I used to be a lifeguard, and the guy who walked out was the guy who took me through my lifeguard course. <sighs> and I was like, I was like, how bad is it, mate? And he was like, everything's gone. And I would just remember like pure crouching, looking up, like, like it was just a pure surreal thing. Cause like the bricks and all that were there, but like all this, but it was so weird. And then like I went in to see my mom, man, she's pure, Fucking besides herself, man. Like she's because also it's everything that they've I always. He's not I like had, mad at all, mate, Everything. Shit. So it's like all the cabinet, and basically it was a, a sky Q box. So fuck, fuck sky if they're ever watching <laughs> this, man. And like, uh, do you know the only reason the insurance paid out was because we had to get a mad detective to go in and like prove it wasn't plugged in. So see if it was plugged in, the insurance wouldn't have paid paid out. So it's mate, mental. Like it's all this stuff that you realise with insurance. But my mum like religiously always unplugged stuff and all mate, that. I, mate, I literally sat in my room with like. Extension cords with yeah, everything on it. Extension cords and it got other and extension, extension cords. I love that uh, move. I still do it, and I'm sure, like, <laughs> obviously, I should, know that. <laughs> and, uh, I should have learned my lesson. But, uh, and like, uh, basically, like, you know how when you turn your TV off, the wee blue light stays on for like a couple of seconds? That's the capacitor. Basically, that blew up in the sky Q box. And like, but I remember, like, when, like, maybe about an hour or two after, like, the smoke had all stopped, me and my bra, and we got into the house, and like, me and my bra were like, fuck it, our house is burnt down. And like, there's a video, like, playing, uh, 
we light my fire and like we're playing out the windows like it's like the decks and all that and like the house is like all burnt out and we're just in the top <laughs> and like mate and then that night I went out to th- and it was just so weird like that night everything was like about fire like we couldn't get in anywhere apart from fire water and then when we were in fire water cause they being fire coming on like all these songs with fire just like kept on playing and mate, all that mate have a look like see if you sat and you were let's see if you heard like I'm on fire and you're uh, pure like fuck, uh, fuck, uh, I'm I'm just fuck need to make it out yeah, it's just that yeah so I'm hopefully getting a bit of Buddha and all that, um, but I ended up fucking all that going to like Celica. I remember like getting the money, I just like went all the Celica away games in Europe and all that. And then like a few like years later, I was like, Am I getting any? And my dad was like, You fucked all that kid. <laughs> that's <laughs> gone, like, you're that long gone, man. <laughs> but uh, I that kind of it sent me in a dodgy path, I would say, because after that, like, so within one week, my house went on fire. I broke up with my bird at the time, and my dad had to go in for a brain operation. So it was a, a week of turmoil for myself, man. And I remember just like hitting the fuck it button, and like for like I think like the next two years after that, all I did was just go out, get on it. And then I was like, I need to sort my shit out here because I used to like from the age of four to like nineteen twenty, all I did was swimming and like rugby and like football. Like, I was always doing a sport, and then I went through this time in my life where like. I was doing just nothing and like I just knew in my head I was like I'm all over the place like I was depressed as fuck and then just all this shit and I was like I was being the, I was acting like the victim in a sense I was like all oh, this shit's happening to me so I can go out and do all this mm. then I was like nobody's got to change it apart from me so I put in for a, a mad charity MMA fight because I always kind of I always fancied myself in a fight I love uh, mate, this I, can, I, this, I've seen this guy fight too many times mate, it's I scary, just, mate. Mate, I used to just love bot mate it's so weird mate. so I used did to you just, have any jiu-jitsu training no, like nothing mate no fighting experience <laughs> whatsoever okay, mate, mate, this cunt like see, when that, see when you see him fight you're like this cunt see like mad Joe Joyce and that, like, you're like there's just something in him it's just a uh, fight I, 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 a fighting I, man because your brother's it, exact I, mean, I think like you genuinely are like there's some people that are just like pure mate I knew that I was going to do fighting like, year, like I remember being in like high school always like I'm going to do fighting when I'm older like right. I always knew that I was going to do it but because I like, I used to swim like seven eight times a week and that so I never really had the opportunity and then this opportunity came into it and like I remember when I first started I was like I'm going to like document all of this because I know like once I start this I'm not going to stop until like I get somewhere aye, aye, aye. and like uh, I've done the charity fight and like and mate, I, I got a really good guy in the fight man like he was fucking shit hot he's not like a 2-0 um, amateur MMA fighter and uh, could have went his way and then like, I choked him out in the, the second round yes. uh, I get, we guillotine rolling guillotine <laughs> yes. and mate see that feeling but I uh, like there's many things that like I've won so many like mad swimming races football and all that but see Button or can, and like in front of all your pals, <laughs> mate. Because we, there was like, there was like there's thirty of no- us at, right beside oh, the mate, cage. Wild. You know, just like yeah. Mate, like, see MMA bro. as well. See, because uh-huh. it's like a finish instead of like. See, you watch a pal do a charity boxing thing. It's like, oh, it's went to a point. Uh-huh. 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 Like, it's pure defined winner. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's like he just uh-huh. finished uh-huh. him. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So it's Mary, I'm mad. Fucking visceral reaction. You're just like, oh, feral. Because it's Mary, I'm mad. As I'm mad, Mary. Yeah, fucking Intent, like, it's so intense in way to fight and all. That, See, like, because there's that many ways it could go. Like, run. That's why, because I was watching a mad thing because I've been wanting to get into UFC. I've never bothered with UFC, even I'll tell you, I like boxing, but mm-hmm. I don't even want to be, even admit I like boxing after yeah. fucking another week. You oh, know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's, it's uh-huh. just it's like this is obviously a hundred times better. So I've been trying to get into it. So I've been watching mad videos about it, and it's like, see the mad point system being the same as boxing and all that. Like, oh, like how ridiculous 10, is that? Ten nine and all Aye. that. Aye. But they need to they need to score it somehow. Some but, it, uh, but there's so many more like variables. Variables. variables That's the joke. It's, it's a more uh, complex like, sport. See, like time in the ground and stuff like that. Like you could be on top. Like let's say Paul Craig's a perfect example at times. Like when somebody's when he's in top of people he may even though that person's in top of him they'll get oh, wait, when he's underneath uh-huh, people so, you mean uh-huh, so that's good like so that guy's playing like kind of top he's getting like ground, ground control uh-huh. Uh-huh, whereas it's actually Paul because that's thing with jiu-jitsu like majority of the subs actually come off of the back so you can be sitting in your back back into somebody that doesn't know what's going on they're like well he's getting smashed fuck out he can't get back up and all that but really he's just looking for like a kind of uh-huh. way into like and that's what Paul Craig does he waits for the hammer first and like when that arm comes up he then throws in the triangle and like he's done it like so many times before so but he's all... losing points while he's on the ground uh-huh. but he's, uh-huh. he's just he's just uh-huh. hoping he can get a fit he's not even thinking about points he's really uh-huh. he used could use you tell me because this happens to me all the time see when I watch you I've seen that right I like um, I'm watching cuts and they're like grappling that right and on the ground and then I'll just see like, what, I, like I, won't, I won't notice it but I can't I'll just go 
and then uh, the commentators will go, oh, it's like advanced. So like that, what there? I think that's maybe like maybe advancing position or something. Just like now he's got his arm or something. Like because and then they just know. It's just, just about the grips. It's uh, like see once you like it's weird like in jiu jitsu like you can feel it like see when I'm born like see when I first started I was pure like a frat mate is mental like the better you get at jiu-jitsu like it's all about just being more relaxed like see when I first started I thought it's all about going I'm going to fucking batter everybody and all that mate see the, the when we see the beginners courses see the first people who drop out it's the ones with the biggest ego that are pure gym junkies aggressive and then that. aggressive they'll come in the roll with somebody that's like half their weight and they'll just get ripped apart and they're like I don't want anything to do with that and like it's always like the ones that are like maybe a bit overweight or like the ones that started from genuinely nothing because they've just got complete progression whereas like so you need to come in with the mindset of like I'm willing to get beat for the next but it's no like you're getting beaten training and stuff like that but you're learning all the time because you have like hard rounds and then you have like good rounds as well where like people that you're maybe better at all kind of the same but I would say that all the sports I've ever done I was actually thinking about this other day like with football when you play football there's a pressure on you because other people are kind of relying on you so that can be a bit off-putting and there's like you need to go in and you need to be a certain level to like kind of do that sport whereas jiu-jitsu like you are only in a race with yourself like Aye. you just if you're a white belt you just train with other white belts and if you're a hobbyist and you don't want to be competing against guys that are like breaking legs like you just say to them listen I don't I'm just looking for like a fun round an easy round and stuff like that there's not that there's not that pressure that's probably why do you think that's why it's called like you say you play jiu-jitsu uh -huh. rather than fight oh is that what you uh -huh. say you say, play. Uh -huh. you say a jiu-jitsu player uh -huh. Uh -huh. like some people say uh, it's like a, a jiu-jitsu player and stuff like that but like I would say like like, jiu-jitsu is definitely the one thing that, it, like, I would say it is for every. I think everybody should probably oh, I learn it. a little bit of it. Because, like, see, just from, I don't know, my own experience and stuff like that, like, when I first started, I was pure, like, I enjoyed the, like, the training and the charity fight. But then when I made the decision, like, I'm going to keep on doing this. And, like, I remember, like, the first year or two years, I was like, this is fucking brutal, man. Like, I'm turning up every day. Because I was, like, training to compete at this point, And I was, like, training with all these guys that had been doing it, like, four, five, six years and that. And I'm pure holding myself kind of to them and stuff like uh, that, yeah. to that level. But um, it's it's mental, man. It's a, but it's such a humbling sport and all because, like, those days, like, it's so weird. Like, on Sunday or Saturday there, I remember waking up and I was like, I do not want to do this today. And I went in and I had, like, one of the best sessions that I've had in, like, so long. And then Monday night, I was like, I feel like a ticket. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to smash everybody. And I had a terrible session because I was going in with this, like, oh, I just need to turn up type mentality. Aye. Because I had a good session on the Saturday, Aye. I felt, oh, I've had that good session. I can just do it again. That's so it's, easy, no, it? it's not as easy as that. So it's a pure up and down it's up and down, but you're constantly going up. So it's like, it's literally like three steps up, one back, three steps Aye. up, one back and stuff like that. I, I really hit a heavy what I did. Me though, like the things, the things that put me off fighting, like, because I used to box quite a lot. Mm -hmm. I fucked my wrist, so I can't like punch that as, yeah. as well. So I don't know, it's screws and that. But, um, so like, see, like getting hit in the face. Uh -huh. I fucking hate getting hit in the face. It's the worst ever. That yeah. doesn't really happen, does it? Nah, but you, you until you until you're doing like I'm mad. mad. But I got you don't get hit in the face. But I got a pure freak at me. I actually lost like I don't want to put people off now. But uh, <laughs> actually, I was like hard sparring with somebody, and I like I tried to double leg him, and like his finger went perfectly into my eye, and uh, he took a a chunk of my cornea and a wee bit of my iris out and I lost like I think I've lost like I went to the the opticians like mate but this went on for about a year I'm still dealing with it now lost 60% vision from like I got my eyes a month before it to like now like my eye in this eyes like lost because like, you lost a chunk mate, bro mate, see the pain like I ended up getting a disease so like a few months after it a disease because like basically like your your cells like your eye like creates a scab just with the cells and like uh, I got a uh, it's called the uh, coronal erosion syndrome and like uh, basically the cells like you see when you're sleeping that's when it's healing and like see that morning my eyelid was just whipping it clean off and like the scar was getting the cup oh, was getting what? bigger and bigger man so that shit's it's, mate, that's a pure fo do you, do you oh, feel a mad way when people talk about eyes mate eyes oh, are yeah. I, like see the thought of like See, even so like, and see, me a bit see, like a bit of metal then. getting in your eye or something oh, like that. Well, mate, I've had, a, I've had a flash yeah, some nasty for a well, Can we pause? I'm busting for a shite. I'm busting for a fucking pitch and a shite, actually. We're pausing it. Troops, the podcast is brought to you by G4 Claims. If you're involved in a road accident that was not your fault, call G4 Claims on 
01698 767 172 or visit them at notatfaultclaim.com. The process is completely free and you could keep 100% of your compensation. Troops, if you want more episodes of Riley's Gaff, head over to patreon.com forward slash Riley's Gaff. We have the £3 tier, which gives you access to the extended part of each normal episode where we normally save all the hot action for. We also have the £5 tier, which gives you all the extended episodes a bonus episode each month, and access to the Discord chat. The £10 tier gives you all of the above, but you get two bonus episodes a month and 10% off merch. And the last tier, the daddy, the goat tier as it's called, is £20 a month, and you get everything and anything you would ever want. You get to request episodes, you're a mod on Discord, so your name's a fancy colour and everything, oh my god. You get shout-outs in any episodes, if you want a wee birthday shout-out, whatever. Whatever you can think of, and we can do, we will do it. And on top of that, you get 20% off merch. How sweet is that? So if you've already joined, thank you so much. And if you haven't, what are you waiting for? Patreon.com forward slash Riley's Gaff. Stuff like that, Pure Creek Smoke. When I was a wee guy, I used to weld when I was a mechanic. And yeah. I got like a flash. And it's not like something, it feels like something coming off and hitting your eye. But it's no, it's just like the, the wee thing getting too bright and it just burns a bit away, like the kind of shit you were saying. Uh, and then like later on at night, mate, I was like just sleeping and it would just open, mate, and I'd be pure in pure raving pain. But I thought there was a wee bit of metal in it, but uh, it just went away in a few days, but it was scary, bro. Mate, I always find stuff like that. Like, see how, I mean, I know you get, did get fucked with something in the eye, so I, 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 no, uh, no, all, <laughs> not always, but see, there's shit that happens to your eye and you're like, oh my God, this yeah. is, like, this is stuck with this. And then a couple of days go by and you're like, Mate, you ever, feels had, all right, you ever had like conjunctivitis, bro? Oh, have you ever had, had that it? shit? Uh, it closes your eye up with my gut, bro. I used to see when I was younger, mate. Like, I was actually, see, be fair, right? If there was any eyes to get fucked, I'm glad it was this one because I've always had a bit of a, 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 was it a lazy eye or a shite eye. Um, a shite eye. See, when I was younger, see, when I was younger, see, when I was younger, this eye was like uh, fully inverted and I had like a mad operation to like bring it out and straighten it out and shit like that. But right. when I was a wee guy, I used to like fucking kick about with like an eye patch and all that. My brother would like pelt off. <laughs> my yeah, all the sick, time, bro. mate. He would just... Bring back the eye patch. I, mean, I, so I, I did it for eye patch. Mate, I had to go to the, the Silicon Rangers game wearing the fucking <laughs> eye patch. <laughs> mate, because I, I poked my eye like two days prior and I'm like, I'm not missing the game. Mate, mate. I, if, it, if it was like, one we lost, you're like, arr, <laughs> Do they have wee fans? You got fucked. Wee fucking eye patch. Fucking cut arrow. Wee but that with the tash, the eye patch, with the tash was oh, yeah. almost yeah. devious. It's, Keep it good. It's currently, for, uh, it's, it's currently for November, but we could it could be a permanent. I fucked I, mine, I, man. I, I know, mate. I was looking at that. No, then, I fucked it. Like I had to shave. It, I had to shave it off because what I done was I was trying to like shave it. The tash was growing in at quite delightfully. It was really uh, your hair grows at an alarming rate, bro. Oh, mate, I'll have a tash in there. You can see it. I'll have legs. Mate, I'll, I'll, like, I'll, have, I'll, have, I'll have a tash in like four days, bro. Ah, easy. Yeah. Uh, that's why I'm not even sweating, sweating. it. I mean, I, went, I took it into, I took it into far, and I was like, mm. oh fuck. Like, fuck no, that way you can't. Eat, you can't. I eat. feel like I can start to do this. No, I mean, you need to start twizzling. Uh, that's not nah, there. Twizzle it. It's because mine's just got ginger in that, <laughs> oh, and, all, and I've got brown hair. Do you get the oil in that and uh, go? Well, you look, me, like, me, you look hella Irish. I yeah, mean, it's, it's, my, it's my roots. You're the most Irish guy I've ever seen. Wait, my, see, my full name would be Kieran Joseph Brendan Donicky. Oh, <laughs> that, that, I used to know it's a, a guy, right? It's a name and a half. <laughs> I used to know a guy, and his name was Sean South Duffy. And that, <laughs> that's, that's what funny. I always thought was that's that's hard. Hard. Like, Sean Francis. South, bro. <laughs> South of Ireland. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, that's so, class. But I, I bet we need to go back to uh, Donicky's Jiu Jitsu. So aye. you're talking about your injury, but you could mind you, com you competed aye, recently just, with aye, a fucking so, other injury. Aye, so, but I've had two comps recently I went down to to London in the summer and uh, I think I had like nine fights that day or ten fights and I won eight by sub and then the one to get me into the final I was like two nothing up with like 10 tw 20 seconds left or something like that and then I pure fucked that up man I tried to do this stupid sweep and the, the boy pretty much got him out and then he got the point victory and then I went into like the the bronze match and I won the bronze match but that was me like going down to London, it was like a massive bracket, so like my weight's like one of the most busiest weights, and like now I'm at blue belt, so it's not like just beginners, man, like there's like, you can be a blue belt in jiu-jitsu, but a black belt in judo, Aye. and like there's like people coming that are just, Same mate, disciplines. they're rap so strong, rapid, mate, they're just, they're, they're hard, but I just went through the full day, and it was like, I had this weird mindset, but I was saying to my pal Skelton that came down with us, and I was like, I'm just 
te- like treating this as a comp class. Like so, like when I'll have my competition class, so that's like my hard sparring class. So I'm like just going in because when I go to their classes, I'm like I'm smashing it. I do like multiple rounds, and I knew I was gonna have a lot of fights that day. And then uh, I just like it's just another round in the gym, another round in the gym, and I think, I think I'd like got was it three leg locks or something like that in that day, man. And then a rear naked choke and um, a few others, man. It was a, mate, a mental no, day, mate. No, it's pure mad about that like one competition. Like I, it's uh, I would imagine like. It's like doing all this trade not, and it's like you go down and it's like you've got one fight. No, I mean uh, you fight again, you beat the guy, and that's it. But imagine model. going and getting like eight out of fucking nine and being like gutted about it. Oh, mate, you've mate. won eight fights. That's mate. the thing, mate. I was see when it happened, the the round was still going on, and I was like shouting because I knew I'd fucked it, and I was like fuck, fuck that. I was actually like pure shouting and swearing, <laughs> and like they're all like the refs like pure tell me like calm down and that man. But mate, I was oh mate, I was just a mad Irish guy. Fuck, fuck mate, fuck I was fuck, oh mate, it was pure haunted me and then. <laughs> but I had um like so in jiu jitsu like the ADCC that's like the Olympics of jiu jitsu man that's like the pure top of the pile and basically I got invited to do a sub only invitation on like I've only been training like three and a bit years man so like I was like that's like I'm doing so well for the time that I'm in and I'm like this is such a massive opportunity for me and like my training was perfect I just had London and then like the night before the fight I stupidly was training and I fucking I was training hard but I was like practicing situations and just like in a freak accident I broke my rib and Fuck. like mate it was the the worst thing ever so I, I broke the rib at like four at night five at night and like, I knew it was broke because it's even now like it was sticking out of my body and I was like, like I could visibly see my rib and I was like, what the fuck am I going to do? Because my pals are all gone, they've got a table and all that. And like, I know what I'm like, I'm, I was never got like, I would, I could have two broken legs and I would still have went and like kind of took the Crawled fight. Like, just feel crawled on. It's just like, because in my mind, I'm like, I know I'm at the level where like, I could get fucking injured anyway. Do you know mm. what I mean? Like, I'm in a game where like, people try to break my arms, legs and everything anyway. So I was like, if I'm broken already, can it break me much more? So That's fucking insane. I, bro. It's fucking wild. It's, it's just a bit, I think like, if you're going into this, like, you, pu- you do need to have a certain mindset. Like, if you're like, just wanting to learn it for like, your fitness and all that, great. But see, if you want to compete and actually like, achieve something, like, you need to have a pure dog oh, in you. Yeah, I, like, aye. you need to like, see when it just gets to that point where like, I'm fucked here, man. I just need like kind of keep on going like Aye, you day pure rough, rough, brother, I'd be I pure that. looking for like I'd be like oh man see if I broke my rib I'd be like fucking class man I get to no day this man <laughs> <laughs> it's a pure like, great excuse man I like did, I would be looking mate, for but I went up I went we went up we bought a table yeah, to go and yeah. watch and we went up and fucking obviously we all know about the rib Mm. But then he comes out to fucking go, and it was a big cunt, and all, man. Uh, it was, the cunt was massive. And then the, uh, it, I, I'm watching through it. Let's see, let's I, set the full scene. But right? I, we are sitting at a table, sort of right next to the mat. So they come out, and I'm like, ah, I'm just looking. I'm like, how is he going to do this, man? He's literally got a broke rib. His ribs sticking out. He's hanging out, but you taped um, it and that, I didn't you? But I thought that's so what I fucking I am. I mean, I <laughs> throw him down a bit of tape, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm brush. I'm brush. Brush. Wait, wait, I mind putting like deep heat and all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was so good. <laughs> 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 I've had deep heat. So I've seen my own eye off camera. So, bet. like, so the other cunt you've seen. Right, so, I want to know. So the other cunt's about your height, bro. Have you had. had I'm, I'm just wanting the scene set here. Uh-huh. You had a lovely meal by this point? Mm, what, in the place? Aye. No, no, no. It was very much a sort of hit and run we'd done. Uh, like, right. we done. It was in Stirling, but it was uh, like right in, this, right in the middle of Stirling city centre. It, it uh, seemed like. It's a hotel. Aye. Aye, it was a hotel. The Golden Lion. Uh, the Golden Line. Line or something mm. like that. Uh-huh. I think that's a Chinese. It sounds like that. Um, Oh, I'm so hungry. In the basement, yeah, no, but, uh, <laughs> we went up and seen it, and then we went in, and it was like two fights and well matches, and then it was Donnie's. But I'm watching, going, "How's he going to do this?" And like, he's rolling about with this big cunt, and like the cunt's pure leaning on his ribs, and I'm like, "How?" And he's trying to like poker oh, face it with a broke rib, and then every time, <laughs> good, every mate. time they, they, I'm like, I'm looking up, and I'm like, "How is this possible?" And then they, they would get split for like, a certain position or whatever, and like as soon as Donnie turned around, I just see his pure. Like, oh, oh, me, like in agony, and then just turn back and be like, "I right, let's go again." But oh, n- n- it was like a draw, mate, wasn't it? I, so no, but they like, got the. I think, mate. So it was a ten-minute match, like just constant no breaks, man. And like I went, so my plan was, like I said, to, my coach wanted me to pull the fight. Like he, I didn't tell him I broke the rib until we were there, and he was like, "Why you don't warming up?" And I was like, "My ribs broke." Oh and, no! And, and he looked at it, and like he was like, he wanted to pull it. The medics, they wanted to pull it. Like nobody wanted me oh. on that mat, and I was like, "I'm fucking going on that mat." Like there's no way that I'm not going on that mat. Miss Rocky, bro. Uh, I mean, you're Rocky, Donnie. Like, Mr. Like, new Rocky, Donnie. I've, I've got a hundred percent chance of losing it. 
If I don't go on the map, he was a big monster. Like he was like, he was, a big he was guy. big. He was a big guy. I mean, I know, like, I know that pro- if I was to go, I would love the rematch. Aye. I would, like, like, I said to them after it, like, I was like, I've obviously fucked my rib. Like, I would love to either have that match, like, as soon as the next opportunity is there, like, I want to, I want to have that opportunity again. Because I was like, at the end, like, it's not just your rib, it's like your full core's then just completely and you're gone. You're probably worrying about it. Mate, and mate, I'd, worked in a full, mate, I'd worked in a full. Like a uh, fight plan with like uh, this boy Cammy Donnelly, mate. He's like one of the best jujitsu people probably they know in the in the world. I think he's ranked. I think he's like nine or ten in the world, right? And he trains over with like John Danaher and like the B team and stuff like that. And then he'll come back over the UK and and he mainly trains at a higher level. But he's just a fountain of knowledge. And basically, the the plan that I had, I couldn't do because my rib. And like I said to Brian, I was like, if I don't finish it in three minutes. I'll probably get beat and like the three minutes went by and I was like right I'm definitely fucked and like I actually like somehow threw up an armbar and like I remember when I threw up my ribs just like pure because oh, you're trying to hold oh, your oh, you're squeezing it against your rib and then eh? like there was another point where like you've gone into a leg lock so like I'm like underhooked his leg and that like, I've pulled his leg over my body but I pulled his knee into my rib oh, and like, I've let go because like they paint me I feel like I was like stabbing oh, myself usually that would be a kind of power position or all that like you oh, would do something like, there I, but I felt yeah. like I would have been like like I know how I roll with people and I think if I was to be fully fit it would, it would never went the way that it did but then with like three minutes to go he got my back and like I couldn't explode out I couldn't like so it, I managed to fit like when somebody's on your back for three minutes normally if somebody's got your back you're getting subbed in like a couple of minutes and like I managed to or like a couple of seconds even like I managed to like fight out it get back out it and then he put like a body lock on it because he knew by this point it was fucked because he could feel the tape and like he's squeezing like right in the he was trying to get a tap at me by just squeezing my broken bone <laughs> and I just remember like just kept on put like the only thing was like because I knew he couldn't choke me so I was like doing this and then just like kept on pushing his knee down and then like I remember just the fucking the bell gone and I was like thank fuck for that I don't even care about the result I'm just aye, uh, that is like, I just bro, uh, is a win button it man get me a get pain <laughs> aye, I, get, I get like that after like a gym session so when I hear the bell gone mate <laughs> so when I hear the right <laughs> trips I'm like alright um, fuck fucking man, hell uh, gone even no doing anything for another three weeks aye, aye. <laughs> and that's led me on to Amsterdam now I got a damn bro the, the Damn, mate. Oh. Dawn in the dam. Dawn in the dam. <laughs> <laughs> can, I say, can I say just for people, because you've you said earlier on, mentioned like you've started documenting everything. Uh, What's that? Yeah. Insta cooks. It's um, good. Donike Jiu Jitsu. My main one, like I've been documenting in my normal. It's actually a cool story, but like I wasn't going to make the Jiu Jitsu page to be honest. And then I actually met a boy at the Celtic game and uh, Aidan O'Donnell, if you're listening, good guy. Um, and he was like, mate, I just want to talk to you about all your jiu-jitsu stuff and that you post. Because like, normally when I was posting it, I was like, who the fuck cares about all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. Why might? But I was posting it for me so I can see my own progression. I don't really give a fuck about everybody else. I, I was kind of, I wanted to do it so I can look back in all my memories and like, this is how I've got better over the time. And like, now I can look back to my first bag session, like, but at the start of that charity fight to like now. But basically he was saying, he was like, it's not the fact that you're posting about your wins. He was like, you lose and you'll post everything about your losses and, and he's like I took more from that because he's like I follow like a lot of people in that community and they only Aye. talk about their wins and stuff like that and that's no part of the journey just uh, winning all the time I mean it's no me it's definitely like, and, like the way that I'm seeing it in ours like I'm tra- like ideally if I keep on going the way I'm going like I'm going to get blue belt purple belt brown belt black belt like I would want to get to that level so like see from like white to like brown belt I feel that's just preparation for competing at black belt so like that is my angle so like this is like still an amateur level where you're going to have wins you're going to have losses and stuff like that but when you get to black belt like because you kind of say oh I'm a world champion but I'm a blue belt because a black belt would just part of your ass you know what I mean whereas when you're the black belt you're like the top top of the pile so he kind of like it was just like not really good to see that and I took a lot of inspiration from it so I was like do not fuck it I'll just make him a it's good it's it's quite interesting to read through uh, uh, it's great and then uh, because see see sometimes if I see you like say you, you come fucking we, we hang about and you're like just a, a training, a training okay. aye. He, mate, he's sit with me with his notes, right? And he's like, like everything he'd done and like what he uh, done wrong and what he should do. And I was like, fuck, uh, and it's so long, bro. Uh, just I for one for, like, session. Every, after that's, every session, I'll write down everything I learned and all that. That's and the reason you're progressing so quickly. Like, aye, if, is, uh, Nate, like doesn't, wouldn't it be, I, I think that's like the 1%. I couldn't stay uh, stuff like you that. Need you need to put it in that work if you want it. Like Aye. if you want it, you'll do it. I think it's rare, but uh-huh. I don't know. Like, cause it, I was saying, I know, like, cause the only kind of I run up until the past couple of months, only 
kind of fighters I would know out like personally would be boxers and that and I would be like or on Instagram or whatever and people would care about kind of and it would be the same with boxing it'd be like uh, no see anything for months and it'd be like well this big huge win that was massive uh, and that's going to take me here and okay. thanks to all the sponsors so and all this shit uh, and it's just a mad it's a very it's, real, it's a very flashy thing in a uh, boxing and it's annoying it's annoying because you're like I know that's not a flashy uh, know what I mean? uh, the boxing and all man like a lot of boxing just set up fights like you're getting guys that are especially like amateur level like your boys like see when somebody's good they will get put up against somebody's a journeyman of the amateurs just so they can get the one like seven seven and one stuff like it's that. about creating a record in it uh, boxing, that's really? why like that's why in like jiu-jitsu and sports like you can go into a comp and you don't know who you're like you're just in a blue belt so i'm just blue belt with my weight so i don't know any of the like those boys that i go against and they've had like like i had a wee look today at the ones in amsterdam those guys were like 50 matches 60 matches and all this stuff i've got like i think i've got like 20 matches or something like that now and smooth comp and then i've done like four sub only ones but like um i be your t- you're fucking bashing uh, your day bash in mad uh, ways i feel like the people i'm training with and all like on a weekly basis i'm training like at marcos nardini's gym and scottish hit squad so marcos's gym that's like just jiu-jitsu and that's like this guy's like chris duncan ufc fighter mark mcqueen one of the best in the uk they're now like all the best people up training at this gym. I was at the hit squad. I had Chris Bungard, like Paul obviously has just left and stuff like that. There was like Michael Blair, like Ryan Campbell, like all these people that I'm coming that are just like animals, Monsters. man. Like absolute, like those times when I'm like a day so well and then I'll have a round with one of them and I'm like, Pff, I'm that's, I, that, that's where I need to get to. I'm like, I'm like, I'm good for where I'm at now, but I'm nowhere I want to be. Like, like there's still so much, like, because at times you can get a bit ahead of yourself uh-huh. and you're like, oh, I'm fucking doing amazing and all that. But that's just because you go through times where like, you can pick and choose who you want to roll with in jiu-jitsu. So like, I could like just roll with people I'm constantly better than and I'm at sub nine people tonight. Uh-huh. Amazing. Mm-hmm. None of them were actually hard. No offence to them, but none of them but a hard round but it's like there's two classes that I go to mainly and it's like a Tuesday and a Thursday and I call them like my learning days because it's like the elite boys and it's like pretty much five different gyms from all around Scotland and stuff like that there's like world champions this guy Shea, Shea Montage like one of the best guys in the world in the Jiu Jitsu at Black Belt all these different boys and I'm rolling with them and there's like four black belts in the mat brown belts I'm just a fucking an alright blue belt that's been training for four years I shouldn't be probably on the mat with these guys but like I'm just getting through it like I'm just getting through that hour and like they're terrible hours for me like I'm just getting multiple subs smashed like learning. I had a bit of learning like because I'm like I, after the end of that I'm like right if I, I remember I was rolling with Mark McQueen Mark McQueen for an, he was the world's strongest man like four years ago he lifted like a British guy for record. WWE uh, no, it's Mark Ma- Henry. No, Mark Henry. Mark McQueen. He's oh, Scottish. Right. He lifted um, nine hundred and f- it's like the nine hundred and thirty kilo, the British record or something like that. Like total weights, Aye. like over like three hangs, and uh, he was on top of me, like squeezing my chin up with that. <laughs> mate, couldn't he breathe in that? Like he's hundred and twenty kilo, and I'm like, and do you know what is the maddest thing? I had my horn like here. And I had this wee pocket of space. I was like, oh, I can breathe. Oh, this is sound, but like, I can breathe. I'm getting <laughs> <laughs> like leather, man. I'm like, it's the little things in it. It's the little. And I'm like, this is sound. And like, the guy like normally subs me like five times in a round, and I think I only got subbed like two or three times. I'm like, fucking fucking nice. Nice. That's that's that. That is the progression, man. That is like, it's the same. Right, we need to switch over to uh, Patreon. So it's going to pay at Donnie Jiu Jitsu. If you yeah. want to go follow the journey, follow the young man. If you're interested, go see him. But Straight up, killer. We're going right into Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Riley's Gaff. We've got a few, as you can maybe tell, we've got a few stories that we definitely cannot <laughs> tell on YouTube. So we'll we probably need, Patreon. We'll, we'll, but we'll, we'll go <laughs> with, We'll see what happens. We've got a few videos in that to show. Uh, but anyway, if you're not subject, come on. Patreon.com forward slash Riley's Gaff. We'll see you there, trips. If not, cheers. Goodbye. Catchies.